Hi, welcome to Minivan Camper Building with Leslie. <clears throat> it's so hot. Hi, and welcome to Minivan Camper Building with Leslie. This is the hottest I've ever camped anywhere at any time in any circumstance. And I'm going to tell you why we're doing it, what exactly we're doing, and how we're addressing this stupid heat. So it just happened to turn out that we attended a family reunion in Texas in August. So unlike everybody else who flew in, we said, well, of course we're going to take the camper. So we left Florida for Texas in August and all the campgrounds we picked were right along the coast. So the Gulf Coast, muggy, hot, so humid, you just, you can't believe it. Maybe you can. If you've been in the muggy Gulf area in summertime, oh, right? It's like you're breathing through a wet blanket. Yes. Well, I didn't realize how bad it would be. We'd camped in the camper in the summertime before, but not in this stifling humidity. It sucks. So I'm not going to whine on and on about it. You don't want to hear me do that. But uh, if you've done any camping when it's really hot and humid, you know what I mean, right? You just can't sleep. It's so sticky and awful. So what did we do? We continued along our path of the different campgrounds, some better than others, purely based on the, the weather. So if the humidity let up a little bit and we were able to get a little bit of a breeze, great. It worked terrific. If not, Oh my God. So what are we doing to try to avoid this again? So many things went through my mind. Oh my God, we need to get like a proper RV with air conditioning, you know, a generator, something to start moving some cold air through here. I don't want to do this. I did the tent camping thing when I was younger. I'm 55 years old. I want some comforts. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with that. So I thought about that and then I put it in perspective. Right. And so I thought this is for a couple of days in August. Generally when we're camping, it's fall, winter, spring, weather's great. We can adjust. If it's cold, we have sleeping bags. If it's warm, we have the fan for airflow. We're generally very, very comfortable. But I think a rule that we're, sorry, I'm really sweating. A rule that we're making right now is let's minimize camping in August and September, especially when we know it's going to be hot and humid. So that's one thing that's going to improve our lives. Better planning and anticipating this kind of crappy weather. The next thing is looking at something that's going to cool this space. I know that those, tell me if you've tried these. I know they have those stupid little tiny $40 air conditioners that are perfect for small spaces, but I think they're just a fan with some water in there. And I don't think it really works. So I, I can't even get behind trying something like that. I know that they have portable AC units that are gigantic and are expensive and will generate some cold air, but large, bulky, and expensive are not in my vocabulary, so that's not going to happen. Um, what else? Oh, and I saw some other alternatives, uh, so I'm going to try a little something. Stay tuned because I'll show you what I did and... I'll, well, if it worked, I'll show you what I did. So there, so there are some alternatives to that, but um, the sweating is the worst. The humidity is really the worst. The heat is fine because if you have a hot day, once the sun goes down and the air is dry enough, right? Like in the desert, it just cools right down and a little breeze is all it takes to, from the fan is all it takes to stay comfortable. So that's what's up. 
So that's why we did it. That's what we did. And looking forward to not ever having to camp in humid, hot, uncomfortable weather again is definitely a priority. Let me know if you've done this to yourself and what some of your solutions were, please. Um, anyway, this is not going to happen again. We'll be back home shortly and scratching August and September off the calendar for any kind of camping in Florida, Mississippi, probably Alabama, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas, anything around the Gulf, probably not going to happen. So thanks for checking in with me behind the scenes. Uh, good to see you and I'll see you next time.